All new at 5, help is on the way for victims of online romance imposters. Florida couples launching media platforms for men and women who fell for lies and lost millions of dollars across the globe. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld has the story of digital love awareness. If there's one thing that being catfished taught me is that everybody wants to be loved. We first met Nicole Hayden about a year ago when she shared the story behind her real-life relationship with Alessandro Cinquini, the Italian-born cruise captain who discovered his photos were being used by romance imposters across the globe. They know exactly what to say in order to make you feel loved. Last October, Cinquini finally convinced Instagram to acknowledge his site as legitimate and to shut down the fakes. All the rest is fake and now I have the proof. Yet to this day, variations of his profile are still being used on various sites to target and woo unsuspecting women. I can't believe that I fell for it. New Six has been tracking romance victims from the U.S. to India for the last five years. I trusted him. I really trusted him. Women lured by stolen photographs and broken promises that almost always ended in financial loss. It felt like the biggest kick in the gut you ever got in your life. The Federal Trade Commission posted this consumer alert with Valentine's Day in mind. If an online love interest asks you for money, that's a scam. Some of these people have been talking to the catfishers for years, sending hundreds, thousands of dollars. In fact, new data from the FTC shows romance imposters cost nearly 70,000 consumers $1.3 billion last year alone. I'm very sad for whatever is happening and it doesn't seem to stop. Now Hayden and Cinquini are preparing to launch social media havens on Facebook and Instagram called Digital Love Awareness. It's where everybody can talk about their story, they feel safe. As co-founders of the new sites, Hayden and Cinquini have recruited family to serve on the board, including Hayden's mother and cousin, along with Cinquini's brother. Raise awareness, but at the same time trying to, you know, compensate the loss. The sites are also part of a non-profit group that will collect funds to give back 5 to 10 percent of the money lost to those romance imposters. And just help them because of what they've lost emotionally, financially, and they're not able to tell anybody. They don't tell their families. What happened because of the shame? Hayden tells News 6 the digital love awareness platforms are already operating on Facebook and Instagram. Now here's how it's going to work. Donations can be made on Facebook. Just go to the Zephy link. Once enough donations and inquiries from victims have been collected, they'll post how victims can get some of that lost money. Mike Holfeld, Getting Results, News 6.